Hey guys, Miss Luke the Kid here, and I've got about four minutes to talk, so um, I'm not going to waste too much time. And um, I've been getting like, a lot of views in the other previews, and um, it's good to see. And um, hopefully, this one gets some good ones as well, because uh, it's Tonga versus Scotland. Um, Tonga, I think I talked them up a bit in the in the last the last uh, video, which was the New Zealand one. Obviously, New Zealand one, also PNG lost to France, I think, um, overnight as well, and, um, this, this Tongan side, I think it's going to be a great side, um, I can't really understand Josh to full playing centre, but obviously, um, well, he's, he's pretty big, and I think him and Harrell as centre pairings, it will be very scary for oppositions, um, they're just so big and strong, I'm not sure about Tufu's defence in the centres, uh, that's a little thing to be worried about, so I'm assuming they're just going to target him. And also, Harrell's not that great in defence either, in regards to decision making. Um, I think the biggest factor for Tonga, in whether they do reach their potential in the World Cup, is um, is pretty much that their halves pairing. Um, now that I saw them play against Samoa, and they dominated um, Ben Roberts and Peter Godinay, but um, let's be honest, they're not a world class halves pairing either, like Ben Rump's played for New Zealand, like I said, he's one of my favourites, um, I said that in the last um, last video, but he's one of my favourites from the Bulldogs, um, obviously not there anymore, but um, yeah, I do like Ben Roberts, so I'm not um, shitting on him like everybody, I think he has the potential to do a lot of really good stuff, and then a lot of stupid stuff, um, but yeah, we got Daniel Foster, who's at halfback for the, for the game coming up. And, um, Sammy Song Langi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I believe that he was from the Bulldogs Toyota Cup side, um, last year, and now he plays for the Roosters Holden Cup. He was part of the swap with Sam Perrett, so, um, Bulldogs fans, I think we're, I think we're a bit desperate at the moment, and we're looking for another halves player. He also can play centre and second row, so I'm not sure if that's where, if he'll play 5-8 the whole tournament. We'll have to wait and see. Um, at hooker, oh sorry, uh, Daniel Foster, he's got massive wraps on him at Panthers, so, um, I think this could, he, this could be his, like, big, um, big break, really, um, go far towards getting a spot next year, they do have, uh, a lot of, a lot of, um, competition at the Panthers next year, Soward, Isaac, um, Isaac John, all that, just to try and get, uh, a spot, and also you got, for Scotland, you got, uh, Peter Wallace, who's actually, uh, Going to Panthers next year, he's returning there. So lots of yeah, lots of spots in the halves. Um, it, it's all open pretty much. As Luke Walsh is gone. Um, so yeah, Tonga. I think they will win this match. Let's talk about Scotland for a little bit. There's a few. There's a little bit of an NRL experience. Um, we've got Kane Linnett from Cowboys. He's a, a centre. He's pretty good. I think he also played at Roosters. Um, he's big. He's big and tall and uh, pretty fast. Strong. He, I think he's more of a defensive sort of player, but um, I think he's, he's an asset to the side for sure. Um, then obviously, I talked about before Peter Wallace. Um, he's a good player. He's played for New South Wales and stuff, so he has played um, big rep games. I think kind of. I think he kind of got carried a little bit by Darren Lockyer, but and now that Lockyer's not there, he's not really playing that well. As he need, he's shouldering more of the responsibility, but he's going to Penrith. We'll have to see. Um, who knows, maybe with not the pressure of the whole Brisbane, uh, or a whole Queensland behind you, all the pressure, he can just play, hit play well for Scotland. Danny Bro, I think that's how you pronounce it, I think he got, or he was in contention to get Super League Player of the Year, so that just shows you how good of a season he had, um, in the Super League for Huddersfield, I think it was. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, um, that would be a good house pairing, I believe. And... Yeah, James McManus is not playing this game. He's out injured, so a um, bit disappointing there. I'm not sure if the, this team is the exact team. I don't think it is because a um, few people I just haven't got around to making yet, but um, I, like, I think the lock isn't in it. Um, Love Grove, whatever. He's on here in like in the thing that you're watching, if you're watching, if not, whatever. But uh, we're coming to the end of the episode. If you uh, well, episode end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and um, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.